Up next on the Tesla Plan Channel. Tesla Plaid channel, September 29th, 2021, Wednesday night. That means we're headed out to Showtime Drag Strip. Is that a Lamborghini over there? I hope he's on his way to Showtime Drag Strip as well. Priority number one tonight out at Showtime is to give Time Slip Tom, as you guys call him, we just call him Tom, his first ride in a Tesla Plaid. It's surprising to me that he hasn't had a ride along in a Tesla yet, but we are going to correct that oversight tonight. That is my number one goal. Number two goal is to race the absolute fastest cars that show up. Let's see what cars we find out there tonight. I'm really looking forward to it. Out at Showtime Drag Strip and uh, look who's rolling up. It's uh, Tom and Millsy. And Tom brought his helmet and you know what that means. We are gonna make a uh, run here, a ride along with Tom. So Tom, how many years have you worked at Showtime now? Uh, eight years now. Eight years? Yeah. Okay. And uh, always in the time slip booth? Uh, yes. Yeah. Have you uh, worked in other tracks before that? I know you've been in kind of drag racing and well, stuff I've been drag racing for 53 years. It's my 50. 53rd year. 53. Uh, mostly cycles? Uh, well, I started off with cars and went okay. to motorcycles and then uh, motorcycles were the cheapest thing so I kept with them. Okay. What are some of the highlights in terms of cars that you had over the years? If you had to name your top one or two of the cars that you had. Well, my, my first one was a 69 AMX. All right, I like AMXs. Yeah, those are sweet. 390? Yeah, 390 yeah. Go Package. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we uh, held the uh, G stock record in uh, early 70s. And then we went to see Super Sock with the, the twin uh, fours on the and uh, we didn't win very much, you know, but we were competitive. Yeah, yeah, dual quads. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, would this be like in the 70s or 80s? Yeah, early 70s, Yeah. 71, 72. Gotcha, gotcha. I started racing in the 80s Camaros mostly. Had a 69 Camaro, that'd probably be the highlight of the cars that I had. Um, then I later had a Fox body Mustang with nitrous. It was a lot of fun, but um, so what are your expectations of this car? You've seen the time slips, you know what time it runs. You think it's gonna feel as fast as some of those monsters or? Well, I I had an experience one time. It was in a, uh, a 69 Camaro. Okay. And it was raining oh, no. and, uh, and Rick pulled out on the road and he did one of his burnouts and, and then he just took off and, and the whole car just went, you know, there was, yeah. there was no, I mean, he didn't, there was no fog or anything. No, no it drama. just took off, and yeah. and, uh, and I got I got the feeling right here, you know. <laughs> On wet streets. Yes. Holy mackerel. Yeah, that's uh, that's a little risky for me. All right. Uh, well, uh, glad you brought your helmet. Let's suit up and do this. All right. Apologies, there is a uh, camera just right here on your left ear. Yep, yep, I already uh, experienced one. <laughs> okay. All right, you're gonna get the full experience here, Tom. All right, so have you ever been in any Teslas, Tom? No. All right. So first this is one, a first ride. First Tesla ride. We're gonna go down in uh, drag strip mode. We don't wanna wait 11 minutes for it to do a full warm up, but uh, it makes only a minor difference. And why is Millsy spraying it down so wet for us? <laughs> Uh, all right, he's probably thinking he's doing us a favor. Okay, so uh, you got to get to the booth, and I'm going to try to get you there as fast as I can. All right, I'm going to uh, shake the water off the tires as all I right. usually do here. Oh, wow. Uh, here. Oh, wow. Uh. and feel stick on this track already so I think we're gonna be in good shape we're gonna drop it down Robert so okay. if you wanna yeah thanks uh, what we're gonna do here Tom is we're gonna uh, do the whole launch mode deal which means I will just shallow stage as I typically do 
shallow as we possibly be, and then going into launch mode. You ready for this, Tom? Oh yeah. All right. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. something else on that whoa what's the uh, fastest bike you've had in terms of eighth mile ET uh, 860 okay that's uh well that's a quarter mile okay I don't know what the eighth mile time that's that was probably but a really high five then 580 maybe I couldn't tell you we, we weren't interested in the eighth mile we were yeah. just interested in 60 foot you know yeah yeah it was all about quarter mile when I was growing up. Do I still get a slip for this one? Oh yeah. <laughs> One fifty sixty foot. Because I remember when you had that girl in the car, you ran a six eleven. That's pretty dang good. Not a bad reaction there either. I mean, not a great reaction, but not too bad. But that's a great place to start. Uh, you know, there's another plaid here tonight, a gray one, just like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. So uh, we'll be having some close races. All right. Well, I uh, hope you enjoyed it, Tom. I've uh, owed you that one for quite a while. All right, thank you, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right, I'll see you in a little bit. All right, on that ride-along pass with Tom, we ran a 609 at 120.58 miles an hour. To run a 60 anything with a ride-along passenger is pretty amazing. With a 150 60 foot, a 0 .13 reaction, which ain't spectacular, but ain't horrible either. All right, let's find some cars to race. That's a great first pass. 120 and a half. All right, good for him. Cool. We'll have a close race then. We ran a 615 at 119.8. The 60 foot was a 153. Not a great reaction time, 0.24. And I'm surprised that pass was only a 615. But then again, I did notice some slippage right on the launch. All right, there's a new plaid out here, gray one driven by Craig who's been out here rather frequently in the last couple of months so he's driving a Tesla Model 3 and he upgraded to a Plaid and according to Tom right there he ran a 602 hopefully we do better if we run the gray Plaid now I'm sure that 602 he was using launch control I'm hoping that when we race our charge levels will be real similar so that there'll be very few differences hopefully the only difference is the 
fact that he's got the aerodynamic covers on his 19 inch wheels. But we both got 19s. And if we have a similar level of charge, looks like we probably weigh somewhat similar driver weights. Could be a close race. All right, we've got another plaid out here tonight. This one was just delivered a few days ago to Craig, who uh, you guys will be meeting here shortly. Only difference we see between the cars is that he's got the aerodynamic covers on and he still has the plate frame on. I don't think that makes that much of an aerodynamic difference, but I've got two cameras on the car. So the plate frame and the cameras probably roughly cancel each other out, roughly. We both got here at 95%. We both made two passes already. I think I'm at 91%. I'll check his charge level in just a moment. He is at 91%, same as our car, awesome. So I see uh, very few differences. He's got different interior colors, different exterior color, but we're both at 91%. We both have nothing in the car. I weigh about 195, what do you weigh? 220. Okay, so um, you'll have a little bit more weight. Because I see no other difference. I mean, I've got a few things in my uh, trunk, race related. Yeah, I was uh, I was pleasantly surprised. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you that first that first launch, that first run, <laughs> that was an experience. Yeah, wasn't it? <laughs> that was a real experience. Yeah. People don't realize how fast a six second car is. Yeah, and we're not talking mid six seconds, and we're not talking low six seconds. We're talking six, six point zero seconds. Yes. So uh, back to back 602s at 120 something. 602, 120.45, yeah, right there. Yeah. And a 14660 foot, that's outstanding. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it was and, a nice. Uh, you know, uh, uh, just one other variable we should take a peek at is uh, tire pressure. 42, I think. What are you It's got to be rolling. I uh, normally run 42 front, sorry, 43 front, 42 rear. Okay, I think I'm 42 all the way around. Yeah. You feel comfortable enough for the car to make a pass? Yeah. All right. Oh yeah. Get the water off these tires. Peak performance ready. Okay, good. But well, we don't plan to stage it. No staging. No drop. No drop. Okay, I might be a little far forward here, so I got to be careful. Now. And I'm out on by half a car. You won't catch me. ETs. Sounded like we both had good traction. We both started at 91% battery charge on this run. And weight's very similar. Difference in weight is negligible. 609, 120. 609. The whole shot at him. Yeah. He ran a 603 at 120 and a half. <laughs> I had a feeling he might. Good, good. All right. All right, the whole shot. He had a better ET than I did, 603 at 120.5, and I only ran a 609 at 120.1, but my 0.17 reaction, not spectacular, but enough to get the job done, beat Craig's 0.34 reaction, and the margin at the finish line, 0.11. Fun race. Uh, a little bit on the tree was the difference That's there. all, yeah. You had another... 603, you had uh, 602s on the first ones, right? 602, 602. 603. And now 603. Your car is fast and consistent. You had a little more mile an hour than I did as well. Uh, but, what, was uh, your, what was your run? 609. 609. Yeah, so you're 603 to my 609, and you're 120.5 to my 120.1. Okay. The difference was the reaction. I had a 0.170 or 0.34. Yeah. So I... Uh, Jump on it. I trust you weren't trying to drop the uh, launch control because I didn't try it. No. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, when it's two plaids, if you give a signal or coordinate it, you can do it. But if it's just the luck of who gets up there first and who's in the right spot, you know, it goes to whoever is uh, kind of greedy and gets up there first. That's <laughs> what it turns out to. Because I've had that happen to me once or twice. But, uh, you know, I think very even in terms of uh, weight. Charge level. You're yeah. at 91. I was at 91. Okay. So as uh, spot yeah. as it gets, and your car was faster. 
Castro was just a human uh, reaction. Yeah, just, the, just the difference in the reaction. Yeah. You know, the crazy thing is, I've run two 609s tonight, and the first 609 was with Tom in, in the, the car. car. Yeah, he was telling me. Yeah, and now this was another. And the one in between was a 615. Uh-huh. So my car is a little bit off right now. Let's see what we can race next. All right, this is a rematch from last week. And uh, this car that we're racing came into our lane twice last week. Normally I wouldn't run somebody again if they came into my lane twice, but seeing this is only an RC car, I will give them another chance. Can we beat this car? It's gonna be something different altogether. Let's see if we can uh, get out on it and stay out. They've got really sticky tires, they tell me. Okay, we're going right off the tree on this. I want to cut a decent light. I think anything under a tenth will be good. I want to stage just right here. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Let's do this. Now. And he's straight so far. Oh, he's flying. I don't know where he went. Oh, there he is. second I thought he might have been in my lane again glad to see that he wasn't and we were just in plaid mode for that run we were not even in drag strip we didn't warm up the battery I'd be happy with an ET in the 610s and a reaction about a tenth or less let's see 613 120.03 all right and a 09 reaction yes you know I don't think he crossed the finish line that RC car yeah. Because, can you see that RC car when he comes down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, some of them I can, but I saw him cross the line, but it, but it, he didn't get any numbers. Did he, he didn't get numbers, but I'll have to look at the camera footage, but I think he crossed right after I did. Yeah. Yeah. So. I don't know, I, I can't really be sure because yeah. uh, you're going so fast. Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> Good run, though. I think I got him. So we ran a 613 at 120.0 miles an hour with an 09 reaction. But all that really matters is who crossed the finish line first, and I'm not certain who did. But by the time you're hearing this, you'll have seen the camera footage one way or the other on who crossed that finish line first. All right, we've got some cars out here tonight. We've got the Supra. Looks like he's on drag radials. Yeah, big Mickey Thompson, E.T. Street SS on the back of that Supra. We got the 528 Mustang. We've raced Keith a few times before. Always a fun race. body on drag radials. I'm gonna just take it a little bit easy here. I don't need a red light and uh, I'm just in plaid mode. Here we go. I spun a little bit there. cars out here I'm just I just haven't been able to get next to them yet some of them don't mind racing me others uh, seem less than interested 
622, almost yeah. 120. I was sliding around a little bit. We ran a 622 at 119.9. We were slipping around out there. You can see it in the 60 foot, a 157. And not a very good reaction. The Mustang actually moved before we did. All right, we're gonna run the Cougar again. He's usually good for uh, low six and picking up the front tires. Should be a good race. All right, this Cougar runs a fast mid to low six second time. We're just in plaid mode. That should be enough to get us the win, I think. He can also cut a tree. Let's see what we can do here in plaid mode against the Cougar. Here we go. first and he finished first that dude's a real jokester too question is why didn't I just leave right chase is a race something like that he left so dang early it wasn't even uh close I don't think I would have gotten a time on the time slip at least I'll get a time slip out of this 615 okay. 120 there's leaving early and then there's whatever the hell he just did <laughs> slow down in the, uh the 330 410 yeah yeah, I was just in plaid mode. I thought that's all I needed to see was like a 640 car or something. Yeah. But um, yeah, he, he did that on purpose. He didn't even get a time on a slip. I don't no, know. He didn't. <laughs> his way jumped the light. All right, running in just plaid mode, we ran a 615 at 120.00. 0. 0.14 reaction, not great. Let's see if we can find any other cars. Yeah, oh, yeah, he had uh, no choice but to leave there. It wouldn't, wouldn't run right, but it had nothing to do with I had trying edited. to get to the finish line first. You got to do sure. something to beat the golf cart. He want to go that little thing's little extremely fast. You're going to start with that golf cart stuff again, eh? It's a badass. I would say badass. you want to beat the golf cart. One thing you could do is uh, completely gut the interior of your car. That's one thing you could do. <laughs> and, take, and then, uh, if it don't make it go, <laughs> throw it out. <laughs> yep. That was funny. You didn't even get a time on your slip. You were so early. Yeah. Come on now, he down. He's coming up that hill. Just leave it hard. Yeah. Just leave it hard. I think next is going to be the drag truck. And they say they'd like to see some video of how their car is going down the track. So as long as they're keeping it straight, I get some video for them. Um, looks, if I had to guess the fastest vehicle in this parking lot, I'd say it's this pickup here. You guys the fastest car in this lot? Oh, man. You look like it. Oh, no, we just build something. Somebody had to test the see how it's going. Yeah. This thing looks light. Plenty of tire. You in the, You cut uh, a five in this thing yet? No. No? Just the test is doing it right now. You're trying to get in there. You look like you got all the right parts in all the right places, man. It's coming. Yeah, that truck looks fast. They just re-prepped the track, so we should have good traction on this next pass. And we're going to be running this drag truck. This thing probably weighs barely 2,000 pounds. You can see, uh, looks like they took off the lean bars. And I hear they've run low sixes already tonight. But this should be a five-second truck all day long if they've got their bugs worked out. All right, we're running the drag truck. I agreed to take it easy. They're still tuning it. And their goal on this run is to get some good video. So if I get way out ahead of it, they're not gonna get very good video. So my goal is to stay close to it. Of course, I'd like to finish ahead. But let's see how close I can make this finish. two minutes from peak performance ready it might get there I've never seen this truck run before so I don't know how it's 60 foot 
where its power is, any of that. And it's not super easy to modulate the throttle on this car. I mean, easier on the uh, quarter mile. Let's see what we can do here. That's for sure. Look how much uh, tire he's got on there. All the rest. Is he waving me to go first? I think he's waving me to go first. I can say you won by 0.02. <laughs> that was the goal. I was trying. Yeah, to, you were playing with them all the way down. I was, but it was because I was trying to get uh, some video for them. Yeah. And if I get way out ahead of them, I'm not getting good video. So. Yeah. I was trying to stay with him and uh, give him the video they wanted. He had a 1.0 and he had a 0.89. Yeah, I was just waiting for him the whole way. All right, it wasn't about anything other than staying close to him, and we did. And we finished two hundredths of a second ahead of him at the finish line, 0 0.02, as intended. So, mission accomplished. Man, that's a long line for the staging lanes. Should I make one more pass? Only if it's a worthwhile pass. 1971 Mach 1 Mustang, beautiful. I love this body style. Sorry, did you say uh, what displacement this one was? 533. 533 on this one. Naturally aspirated. Yeah. Love, and, love, got a love 50 Dominator on it. And what trans is this one running? C6. Gotcha. cameras got that race man that was a competitive one that thing was quick I'm sure he had an awesome 60 foot unfortunately our inside camera wouldn't turn on as we started that race but we've got the handheld and I think both both of the outside cameras worked we got the dash cam let's see what Tom tells us on that Six ten one nineteen fifty five. That was a race. Yeah. Beat him by point two. You got out on me. Yeah. He had an oh. He had a point oh one three. You got that electric car whooping. <laughs> Don't get hard. He was nice enough to let me go down next to him. <laughs> it was a good race. That was a fun race, man. You got way out on me. I wasn't sure I was going to be able to come around. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I got to, I, I turn good trees. Yeah, you sure do. But that's, a, that's why it's a bracket car. Okay. So you got it set for a certain index? Yeah. Well, six, 650. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Yeah. 653? Yep. Yeah. 652, 653, and 654. So, uh, if you were to run it for, you know, just speed, what do you think it would... Uh, you have to ask the boss to be A lower six? <laughs> well, it has run 620s if we... Uncork it? Yeah. Yeah. Get, you know, good air and... Yeah. It, it runs faster than what the cage will allow. I got you. It's one of the, remember I was telling you how mine yeah. was? Oh, yeah, yeah. This is the same way. 
Yeah. Yeah, we can only go so fast because even in quarter mile it runs 980s and I'm not supposed to do 10. <laughs> I've had that problem with my car as well because I'm not caged. Well, this has got, this has just got a roll bar in it, you know? Oh, yeah. Just a six point. Yeah. <laughs> but man, it really 60 foot at 143. What was my, what was my uh, uh, fraction time? 01. 013. A 13. 13. 13. What time you get to get out of your ass? Hey, well, it, 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 it matters. When it matters, I work. <laughs> I love the Mach 1 body style. Yeah, Is this good. like uh, 71? 71. Yeah, 71. 71. That's first year. That buy stuff. Yeah, I love it. Love it. Yeah, they're very useful. Thank you, sir, for letting me go down the track oh, next to you. It was uh, It took it me a lot of work to fun. make it do what it's doing. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm. It weighs 30, 36.6. Well, that much. And it's, and it's naturally aspirated. I love it. Nice. This thing runs consistent. Yeah. We had some fun runs tonight against some cars we hadn't seen before. And I don't believe we lost any races. We did finish behind the Cougar when he jumped the light by like over a second. <laughs> but other than that, we finished first on every run. That was a lot of fun. All right, we'll see you next time right here on the Tesla Platt channel.